The topics of this video is about probability distributions of a discrete random variable and expected value. I am going to explain it with an example. Okay, inside the jar there are four red and three blue balls. Three balls are drawn at random from the jar without replacement. First question, create a probability distribution in which the random variable represent the number of red balls. Okay, so question is what is the probability of getting zero red ball, one red ball, two red balls, or three red balls? Okay, so I close my eyes and mix it, uh, all the balls same size. Random, I draw one ball, keep this ball, and I draw second ball, keep these two balls, Balls and I draw third ball. So basically, this without replacement is important because this is probability of dependent events. So basically, probability of drawing second ball depends on the outcome of first ball. Probability of uh, third ball depends on the outcome of first ball and second ball. Okay, I can calculate the probabilities by constructing a tree diagram. Okay, so first ball I draw can be red or blue. So if first ball red, second ball can be red or blue. So second draw can be red or blue. Third one, red or blue, like this. I make a tree. Okay, so first red, probability first red. There are total of seven balls. There are four red, four over seven. Probability first ball blue. There are three balls, total seven, three over seven. Okay, if first one red, second red. So basically denominator becomes six, six, six. Because one ball left, uh, gone, six ball remains. So first red, second red, because uh, must be 3 over 6, 1 red gun. So first red, second blue, 3 over 6. First blue, second red, 4 over 6. First blue, second blue, again 1 blue gun, 2 over 6. So this is another two branch. Okay, first red, second red, third red. So denominator will be 5, 5, 5, 5 here because two balls already gone. So first red, so first red, second red, two gone. So four minus two, two over five. First red, two second red, second red. Then third one blue doesn't affect three over five. So by this red blue three over five. First red, second blue, third one blue two over five. So I feel all the numbers here. After that, okay, first red, second red. Third red, so 4 over 7 times 3 over 6 times 2 over 5, I get 4 over 35. So red, red, blue, 4 over 7, 3 over 6, 3 over 5. I multiply these three numbers. So I continue multiplying here. Okay, then I simplified the numbers. Basically, red, 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 3 red, 4 over 35. Red, red, blue, 6 over 35. Red, blue, red, 6 over 35. Red, blue, blue, 4 over 35. So it will go until here. Okay. I can summarize the theoretical probability distribution in a table. Okay. So if I construct a table, so this is x, this is probability of x. Okay. What is x? X is discrete random variable. This represent of red balls draw. Number of red balls draw. Okay. Number of red balls zero. So all of them blue. Probability one over thirty five. Number of red ball one. So this is one. This is one. This is one. So four four over thirty five plus four over thirty five plus four over thirty five. So basically 12 over 35. So 
Number of red balls 2. 6 over 35 plus 6 over 35 plus 6 over 35. So 18 over 35. So all the balls red. 3 balls. 4 over 35. 35. Okay. So some of this will be this plus this plus this plus this plus 35 over 35 equal 1. Okay. So some of the probabilities must equal to 0. Next step, I am going to show probability distribution in a graph. But first I have to clean the board. I showed the probability distribution of the number of red balls in the table. Now I am going to show it in a line diagram. Okay, so x-axis represent x number of red balls. Y-axis represent probability O number of red balls. So basically I draw line diagram from the table. Number of red balls 0, probability 1 over 35, approximately here. Number of red ball 1, 12 over 35. Okay, I get like this. 2 balls 18, 18 somewhere here, 18 over 35. 3 balls, 4 over 35. Okay, this is a line diagram. We can also show the probability distribution in probability histogram. Okay, after that, this is the second question. Determine the expected number of red balls if three balls are drawn from the jar without replacement. Okay, to find the expected number of red balls, we basically multiply the value of first column by this. This times this plus, this times this plus, this times this plus, this times this plus. Okay, so expected number of red ball will be 0 times 1 over 35 plus 1 times 12 over 35 plus 2 times 18 over 35 plus 3 times 4 over 35. Okay, I make it. So, when we do this calculation, we get 1.714 balls, red balls basically. So expected number of red balls, 1.714. Expected, this doesn't mean sense, I mean, if you say 1.7 ball, doesn't make sense. But this means it is a long-term average. So over the long term of doing the experiment over and over, you would expect to get 1.714 ball. So we have to do this experiment a lot. Let's say if we do this experiment thousand times. So basically thousand times we draw three balls. Okay, so one experiment, I draw one ball, keep it, second ball, keep it, third ball, keep it. This is the experiment one. Then I drop this. Basically, if I draw three balls at the same time, same thing, basically. So, let's say, again, I draw three balls. This is the second experiment. Third experiment, I draw again three balls. So, basically, if I do it this thousand times basically how many balls I will draw 3000 balls I draw total total this is total balls so so 1000 experiment 
experiment. In 1000 experiment, I draw total of 3000 balls. How many uh, red balls? So 1.714 times 1000. Basically 1714 red balls I draw. So if I subtract this number from 3000, I will get 1, 2, 8, 6 blue balls. So this is the expected number. We can get a little bit, maybe 1, 2 balls difference, more or less. But this is the long range average. So since since there are four red, three blue, total seven balls, basically red balls more than three balls. So when we look here, we get seven, around 1700 red and 1286 blue, blue balls. So basically this result look reasonable even, even if we don't do uh, this calculation, we can get the, we can ex, uh, estimate. So this must be more than 1.5 because red ball is more. So from this simple experiment, we can write the general formula for the expected value. So expected value x equal, okay, x1 times P O X one plus X two times P O X two plus so this keep going until how many uh, ball in this case we do we do only one two three four multiplication but this is general formula so we write that 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 so X n times p o x n so this is the expected value if we write it is in sigma notation this will be okay i equal one n so x i times p x i so this means i when i become one x1 times p o x1 then i become 2 so x2 times p o x2 plus then 3 then 4 it stops when uh, i become n okay thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day bye